Welcome to uh, Chapter 16 Demonstration Problems. The first problem we have an accountant for Easy Toys is analyzing the production cost data for its trucks division for October. The actual results in the master budget are presented below. Our sell actual result, <coughs> 10,000 trucks uh, produced and sold, sold at 15, direct materials 52A, direct labor 51,000, <coughs> excuse me, variable overhead 23,000 for a total of 126,800 variable cost. The fixed overhead was nine. With the budget data, <coughs> With the budget data, 12,000 trucks planned, $14 a piece sale price, direct materials $5 a unit, direct labor $4 a unit, and variable overhead $2 a unit for a total of $11. The fixed overhead was expected to be $9,600. So they want us to prepare a variance to compare actual results to the master budget. So our units the, uh, were 10,000. For actual, they were twelve thousand for budget is two thousand. So that's our variance for the master budget. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in all of the um, uh, numbers for the actual first, and then do the other one. So first, our selling price was um, the actual sales revenue was fifteen dollars. times the actual units for 10,000 are going to give us 100 and equal 100, $150,000. <clears> so go ahead and put our 150,000 here. The direct materials were 52.8, uh, direct labor was 5,100, total variable cost. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this down in to make it a little easier. All right. The contribution margin, the difference between the sales and the total variable cost is 23,000. 300. And our fixed overhead, if you remember from the top, was 9,000. Take away the 9, I have a total operating profit of $14,200. For um, sales, it was 12,000 units times $14. And that is going to give me uh, sales price of one hundred and sixty-eight thousand um, dollars. The direct materials, if you'll remember, were five dollars uh, a unit. Um, direct labor was uh, five dollars, uh, four dollars a unit, and overhead was two dollars a unit. Multiply each of these by the. 12,000, the five dollars, the four dollars, and the two dollars, I am going to get the 12,000 times the five gives me sixty thousand dollars. The twelve thousand times the four dollars gives me forty eight thousand dollars. And lastly my twelve thousand times the two gives me $24,000. So direct materials for 60000 Direct labor was 48000 And lastly, our variable overhead was 24000 if I total those all up, I'm going to have $132,000 of variable cost. Contribution margin is the difference between the 168 and the 132, and that's going to be 36000 They told us up above that the fixed costs were supposed to be 
$9,600. If I subtract the $9,600 from the $36,000 of contribution margin, I come up with an operating profit of $26,400. And I'm missing my two. Try that again. $26,400. So the difference between, so all I'm going to do now is subtract the one from the three. Oh, by the way, this was unfavorable because I sold, I, ha I produced less than I made. Sales revenue, the difference is 18000 and that is going to be also unfavorable. The direct materials cost is less, so that is 7200 favorable. The direct labor difference is 3000 Oh, man, I'm just batting a thousand of it. And that's going to be unfavorable because I spent more than I projected. And lastly, with the variable, it's a thousand dollar difference between the 23000 and the twenty-four, And it is going to be favorable because I spent less. So if I take the 72 favorable and add it to 1,000 favorable, I have $8,200 favorable. Take away the 3,000 unfavorable, I wind up with 52,000 unfavorable. The contribution margin, the 23,200 against the 3,600. Again, this is a decline in revenue stream. So 12,800 unfavorable. My fixed costs were favorable. There was a $600 difference. Less, I spent less than I expected. So if I take the total, the, excuse me, take the fixed overhead away from the contribution margin, I'm going to wind up with an operating profit of $12,200. Okay, that's that one. Now, in problem number two, we're going to use the same set of numbers, but we're going to um, prepare a profit variance analysis. Notice my columns are actual based on activity of 10,000 units sold, manufacturing variances, sale price variances, budget fl uh, flexit budble based on act actual activity of 10,000 units sold. Then I have my sales activity variance and my master budget. So first, I'm going to bring all of the numbers uh, for the actual and go ahead and just paste those in. So I have $150,000 worth of revenue. I have direct materials of 52.8, direct labor of 51, variable overhead of 23,000, total variable cost of 126.8, contribution margin 23,200, fixed overhead 900, operating profit of 14.2. These numbers are from the um, budget that we had before above. This comes, these come from the master budget on the 12,000 units plan. We'll go ahead and, and put this field in over here and paste that in. <clears throat> then when I'm looking at flexible budget, it is the activity times the standard price. So in this case, first for my sales, 10,000 units times the 14, that means I'm going to wind up with um, $140,000 worth of sales. For the 10,000 units at the $5 a unit, it is $50,000. For the, oh, sorry, I blew that one. I do. For the $4 at the 10,000, that will leave us with $40,000. And lastly, the Two dollars at ten thousand is going to leave us with ten thousand dollars. So I can go ahead and put these into this column here. Uh, One hundred and forty thousand for the six unit sold. Uh, Forty thousand, 
and then my direct materials were 50,000 and then direct labor was 40,000 and my variable overhead is 20,000. If I add all of these together, the 50, the 40, and the 20, I get 110,000 for my total variable cost. My contribution margin is the difference between 140 and 110,000, so that is going to be $30,000. My fixed overhead is still the 9,600 that we budgeted, and so if I take the 9,600 from the 30,000, I will wind up with a um, operating profit of 20,400. So now for the manufacturing variance, I'm looking um, at the, this will be my direct materials, my variables, and my overhead. So with my direct materials, the difference between the 52, uh, 8 and the 50,000 is 2,800. Unfavorable, because I spent more than I should have. For direct labor, the difference between the 51 and the 40 is going to be 11,000. And of course that will be unfavorable as well. And lastly, the difference between the 23,000 and the 20 for variable overhead is 2,000 and that also will be unfavorable. Again with the manufacturing variances, it, uh, fixed cost is included with that and I have a $600 difference favorable because I spent less than expected. So now in the sales price variance, it's just going to, and oh, let me total this. Um, this is going to be a total of 16,200 unfavorable variance. So for my sales price variance, I'm just looking at these two numbers and the sales revenue. The difference between the one Sales price variance will be the difference between the 150 and the 140. So this is going to wind up being 10,000. And it is favorable because it is revenue when it increases. Lastly, with all of our sales activity, between the flex, we're going to do flexible budget or sales activity variance uh, between the 40 and the 168 is going to be 28,000. Then, so now we're looking at the difference between the flexible budget and the master budget. Uh, it is less for the direct materials by 10,000, so that is favorable. And then this is less by 8,000, so that's going to be favorable. And this is less 4,000, so it So it will be favorable. And lastly, our total variable cost, the difference is a $22,000 favorable variance. When I look at my contribution margin, I have a difference of $6,000. And that is going to be unfavorable. Remember, that is uh, less revenue stream coming in. These came out even. If I do the math, I have $6,000. operating profit unfavorable. Okay, most of these went through the, the lecture slides. Uh, hopefully they're, they're familiar to you. Let's see. So what we've got here in demonstra demonstration problem number three, using the information of direct materials at Easy Toys truck division in October, two units per truck at $50 per unit for direct materials, $5 per truck. Uh, trucks produced 10,000, actual materials purchased and used 22 units at $2.40 per unit for a total of 52.8. No beginning inventory in October. So when we have our first item here and we have the actual cost, so their actual input quantity at actual input price, they told us that that was um, 22,000 was the actual times the 240.
and that should give us 52,800. For our actual input at standard input price, this is the 22,000 times 250. And we got the 250 by taking the standard cost per truck of 250 and multiplying it. This is where that cost came from, from the standard here that I'm using here. That's going to be 55,000. And then lastly, our flexible production budget is the standard input quantity allowed for actual output at standard input price. So that's 22,000 times the 250 again, which shows on our standard sheet. And that equals 50,000. Now, for our price variance, remember the price variance is the difference between actual cost and actual input quantity at standard input price. So in this one, it's going to be 2,200 dollars. The difference man, not working for me. 2,200 dollars, the difference between the 528 and the 5,500. And that is going to be a favorable variance. Okay, so the efficiency variance is the difference between the 55 and the 50, so we have a $5,000 unfavorable variance because we used more dollars than expected. The total cost variance is the difference between the 20, 220,000 favorable and the 500. That should leave us with $2,800. And that is going to be unfavorable because the unfavorable is the larger number of the two when I subtract. So remember, when we, we do the math that is told here to get these dollars, the difference, the price variance is this minus this. If this is lower, it's favorable. If it's higher, such in this uh, case, this against that, it's unfavorable. And then we do the math for the total cost variance. Okay, so I went ahead and put all the math down here for the, this is the this one here is the uh, price variance. This next one is the efficiency variance. And this last one, oh, that's lovely. And this last one is our total cost variance. Just in case you weren't sure where, where I was subtracting from. Okay, demonstration four problem. Um, again, we have um, easy truck. We know that it's four tenths of an hour per truck at ten dollars per hour. So that's four dollars per hour. That point four times ten equals four dollars. We produced ten thousand trucks. We worked five thousand hours. The cost, actual cost we paid was fifty one thousand. The average cost per hour was ten thousand two hundred. So again, same thing, actual cost at actual input. We had um, 5,000 trucks times the $10.20. So that equals actual cost of 51,000. Actual cost of fifty-one thousand. The actual input at standard uh, input price was the five thousand times the ten dollars. That gives us fifty thousand.
And then lastly, we have the flexible production budget standard input quantity allowed for actual output times the standard input price. We were expecting 4000 times the $10. And that equals 40000 So now I'm going to do the same thing basically that I did in the last one. First get my price variance, my price variance. Um, this over here is going to be the 51,000 minus the 50,000. And that is going to give me a price variance of $1,000. And it will be unfavorable because I spent more than expected. Then for my efficiency variance, I'm going to take the 50,000 from the actual input quantity. I'm subtracting out the 40,000. Subtracting out the 40,000 for the flexible production budget, and that is going to give me a variant efficiency variance of $10,000. And again, this is going to be unfavorable because I spent more than I budgeted. Lastly, my difference between the price variance and the efficiency variance is my total cost variance. So if I take the 1,000 unfavorable and subtract, if I take the 1,000 unfavorable and subtract out the 10,000 unfavorable, I will get I will get a total cost variance of eleven thousand dollars unfavorable. And my mistake in this one, we're actually adding the two together because they're both the same type. They're both unfavorable. Our next demonstration problem, we're doing price variance and efficiency variance. Uh, so again, our actual cost is the, uh, in this one, is the, uh, we've got uh, two tenths of an hour, five dollars per hour, two dollars per truck. Um, trucks produced in October are 10,000. Actual variable overhead cost are 23,000. So we are doing the variable overhead in this one. The actual cost, variable cost overhead, they gave us that it is 23,000. The actual actual input quantity at the standard price, we had 5,000 trucks. Remember from the previous? times the two dollars, excuse me, the, now we're going to take the 5,000 hours, which our variable overhead is um, structured on, times the five dollars standard, and that's going to give us $25,000. And for our flexible production budget, which is standard input quantity allowed for actual output at the standard input price, we were looking at 4,000 hours times the $5, and that's going to give us 20,000. Our price variance, that is the difference between um, The 23,000 minus the 25,000 
gives us a price variance of 2,000 favorable because we spent less. For our efficiency variance, we're going to take the 25,000. We're going to subtract the 20,000. And that is going to give us oops, a efficiency variance of 5,000 unfavorable because, again, it's too much. Lastly, for our total cost variance, we're going to take the 2,000 favorable. We're going to subtract the 5,000 unfavorable, and we will wind up with a cost variance of $3,000 unfavorable. Okay, the last one we have, we are talking about the price variance and production volume variance. For the um, fixed cost, the actual cost were 9000 the budgeted was 9600 this was given the applied i obviously left this one in the $2 times the 4000 hours so then i sorry there we go price variance between the actual cost and budget is the 9,000. Okay, so we had actual cost of 9,000, budget of 9,600, applied was the $2 times the $4 to get the 8,000. The price variance would be the difference between the 9,000 and the 9,600. So that's going to give us a price variance of $6,000, and that's going to be favorable. Now when we do the production volume variance, it's the difference between the $9,600 and the $8,000. And that's going to give me a variance of $1,600 unfavorable. Okay, there we go. Uh, and just so you know, the calculation for the 96, in case you want to know how it came about, is right here. Okay. All right, hopefully this will help you out, and um, lovely. And um, it will help you with the rest of your assignments and your test that is coming up. Okay, thank you very much. Sorry it was a little late. Uh, we had some internet issues in our block yesterday. Maybe it'll ease out some. Have a good day.